I'm going to be showing my proposal for uh, this patch on the project DSLM. It's support for shared folders and files under Sites All. So what DSLM does for you is Drupal Simulink Manager. Basically allows you to uh, structure a multi-site in a very different way. Um, so you keep your code outside of the actual deployed location. So we have cores that are separate from the actual install profiles themselves. And then through a simple command of DSLM add profile or DSLM new, you basically create an entirely symbolically linked directory uh, for a multi-site. So I've got this running in www code. You see I have core Drupal 7.23. Nice thing is you just keep all the files there. And then profiles, I've got a couple of install profiles here that we can reference. Um, the proposed patch adds functionality of shared. So if you made a shared folder, and then Drupal dash, whatever the core is, uh, major number is dot X, and then libraries, modules, or themes, that you can also have these symbolically linked in. So let's see what happens here. Um, go to terminal, and I'm in this working directory, www. And if I do rush dslm dash new, and then we'll do studio, okay, and we'll do one. And so what that did, you see it just created Studio very quickly. Uh, if you're not familiar with this project, um, everything here is similar back to the originating source. It also nicely takes out the things that shouldn't be there. Um, and then it creates a profiles directory and similar to those three profiles to give you additional flexibility. So I can go into Studio and then we can do Drush DSLM add profile. And I'll ask which one and we'll go with CIS and we'll go with the first core, I'm going to be than that. And you'll see now I have CIS7-X there. Uh, what the patch does that I have in the queue is if you go to Sites All, and then you'll see it's basically taken what I had in the shared directory, put all the libraries symbolically linked in modules, it symbolically linked to the supported contrib and this Penn State folder. And in themes, it's linked over to these themes that we have. Uh, so what this will allow you to do is reference a lot of projects that you, know, you don't need to have on your server a couple thousand times if you have a thousand sites. Uh, for example, views. Are you really going to have people off version with the major supported version of views, especially as we get towards the uh, later end of the life cycle on Drupal 7? That's not going to change too much. Uh, so it's just kind of a waste on APC memory bloat uh, to go around doing that everywhere. Um, I have 10 Drupal cores, uh, multi-site instances that I would be managing. Um, and so each one of those, I might actually build a layer on top of this um, so that I can write into that and then reference this kind of packaged uh, finished product, if you will, of the type of site called a studio. Um, but that's outside the scope of this project. 